Excellent first half here today. Second and nine. What a catch! Out at the 29-yard line that's hauled in by Gene McCaskill, the former high school quarterback. He gains eight. I'm Kokel's on the wrong end of this one right here. Again, third and one. They take a shot down the field. Hardline puts just enough air on that ball. Knew he had Cobb wide open. Kokel too far inside. Had no chance of covering Cobb. First down now for the Cats. Alfonso Smith knifing his way across the 20. Found a hole on that left side. Jeff Thompson, the cornerback. Got him down, but a gain of nine first. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the looks of it. Randall Cobb in at quarterback in this wildcat look. Hands off to Derek Locke. And after the timeout, he gets to the 10, a six-yard gain. We talked about Cobb as an impact player before this game started. Here is what he has done. We have Randall Cobb, you know, seven receptions, two punt returns. That's nine touches, two, uh, two plays out of the Wildcat formation. Uh, so they're getting him involved. And, boy, when you look at this Wildcat formation, difficult to defend when you got a guy like Cobb. That's a run-pass threat back there. And his option off to Derek Locke, one of the fastest players on the field. He's lined up again in the Wildcat. It himself. Touchdown Kentucky. This has become the Randall Cobb show. From 11 yards up. I tell you what, that's going to be difficult for people to defend. Uh, you know, we remember McFadden and, and, and Arkansas and, and what they've done with that package and how it's kind of proliferated around college and pro football. With, Darryl, with Randall Cobb, it really gives you a three-way dynamic, a guy that can throw the ball, hand it off, and run it. Great example of that right there. And they keep him out there. He's holding this extra point attempt. And it's 28 to nothing. Eight plays, 80 yards in three and a half minutes. And Kentucky has blown this one wide open. Last year, Dave, when Randall Cobb was both a quarterback and a wide receiver. He had 21 catches for 197 yards and the two touchdowns against Arkansas. But other than that, he was splitting duty. And now that he's just a wide receiver, how is that going to change things? And what do you expect this year as far as production? Well, I think last year they knew how special an athlete he was, only a freshman. Uh, but I don't think they clearly knew or defined what his role was really going to be. I think this year by placement wide receiver, Gave him a defined role, gave Hartline the confidence that no, he's the quarterback. And now they have a package for him with him at quarterback in the Wildcat. And now he's starting to put the whole thing together. He's become a polished receiver. Joker Phillips talks about his ability and his improved route running. You see how dangerous he can be as a return guy. And then in the Wildcat package, he's a guy that truly can run it, throw it, or hand it off. And you see his route running, his ability to separate from defenders. And when he has a ball in his hands, he is a dangerous guy. The SEC is now on alert. He has yet to coach a game for UK, but Cat fans see a winning future. And we're just so excited that he decided to come here and we're ready to win national titles. We're going to win, hopefully Final Four this year. Oh, the program is going to rise to the top, no doubt. Some are hard to win over. Then again, some are easy. I like that he's new and that he looks like a good coach. I'm ready for this season to start. I'm ready to see John Wilde on ESPN jumping over people. It's going to be amazing. This Fans understand their past, but are excited about the future. Free as Radabaugh pumps. Downfield, intercepted. Picked off at the 25. Trevor Glimley, touchdown. A 25-yard interception return. And Kentucky leads it 34 to nothing. And Trevard Lindley, he's their big guy, big play guy on defense. And 
They had the luxury of just sitting back in zone and Trevard Lindley is sitting there reading the eyes of the quarterback. He's feeling pressure from the rush and throws it right to him. Seaver's extra point is good. Radaba now just one completion in his last nine attempts and he has been picked off twice today. And Javard Lindley, number 32, nine career interceptions, 34 pass breakups. And you see him right there, just reading the eyes of the quarterback, drifting, gets right in the line of the receiver, and he's there to make that interception for a touchdown. You see the throw. He's just sitting there, reading the eyes of the quarterback, falling back into zone coverage, and that's an easy pick six. One of the biggest reasons that Lindley came back to Kentucky after it was expected he would make the jump to the NFL is because he knew in his heart of hearts he wasn't ready. He said, I need to get stronger, one. And he's added 10 pounds of body weight, and he thinks he can still help Kentucky take that extra step by competing for an SEC title. we got a bye week next week before they host Louisville. Here's Bratton, and he's got enough for a first down. They're going to they're gonna be a tough opponent this year. Right about as a complete to Jamal Rogers. And he's got the first down as Miami moves it into Kentucky territory after the gain of 15 yards. About as good as it gets. Kentucky on first down. They keep it on the ground. And it's Derek Locke for a gain of seven. Things back, but after that first turnover, that's when Kentucky capitalized and really put this thing into high gear. Monsell Allen for five and a first down. What's going to demand the most out of you? And as I think the players have begun to respond. They're starting to get some better recruits. Allen. Wow. What an effort. Eight hard-earned yards. Second down and two after the timeout for Kentucky. Hartline still in the game. Pitches it back. This is Derek Locke. He's got enough for the first down and then some. As he is escorted out of bounds at midfield after a gain of seven. Second and six. Allen. First down. Gain of 11. Played three here in Cincinnati. The rumble at the river. And it's been mostly... The Kentucky Wildcats rumbling. Randall Cobb has been excellent today. All cats as we go to the fourth, you're watching the SEC on ESPN.